Right, so in the previous tutorial, we went ahead and created a very low poly looking sofa in Blender. So now let's go ahead and make our sofa look even more interesting by adding in some pillows for our sofa. Go to File, New, General, and we'll just go ahead and make use of the existing cube. From Object Mode, let's change to Edit Mode. Let's scale it down on the Y. So if I click the scale, the Y axis is a green one over here. So click and drag this green widget over here and make it quite thin, like really thin. Oops, sorry. Make it really thin, around about there. Okay, and then now we'll go ahead and add in some loop cuts. So go loop cut and add one over here. Chain, uh, let's expand out this little panel over here. Change that to two. Do the same thing on the horizontal one. Change that to two. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the scale widget again. Let's scale this up on the, the Z to move it almost all the way over here. Then hold down Alt on your keyboard and select this loop over here. Then Shift Alt to select this loop over here and scale this one on the x-axis by clicking and dragging this red one over here. Okay, now we'll go to face select mode over here. Select this face as well as this face and then scale it out on the y-axis to be quite large. Like say that much and let's scale it down overall. So let's tap out of edit mode, go to the modifier properties Go to add modifier and add in a subdivision surface. And now it almost starts to look like a pillow, but not quite. So I guess we need to scale this out a bit more to just give it a lot more plushness. Yeah, it starts to look like a proper pillow now. So what we can do is we can go ahead and add in some more loop cuts. Let's tap into edit mode and go to the loop cut tool. Let's add one loop over here, as well as one loop uh, vertically over here. Let's go to the scale tool. Hit shift alt and select this loop over here and then, then scale by clicking and dragging on this white circle. Scale it in. Like something like that. But we don't want to scale it in like we just did over here on for this one. So I'm just going to go and maybe just hide this subdivision surface thing by just clicking on this computer screen widget over here. Uh, then go to vertex select. We want to also expand this one to come out. So let's select these three. And let's move this one to come out. And this one comes out even further, as well as this, these two. So let's make this one come out. Do the same with this one. So select these three, make it come out. And this one comes out even further. Uh, same with this one and this one. Okay, so now let's turn this one on and we can start to see see this better. Maybe I might move this one, maybe it was a little bit too fat. So let me just go to the x-ray tool and select this entire thing and move it back. Same with this one, move it back. Okay, let's turn on x-ray, uh, let's turn off x-ray now and we can start to see a much more realistic looking pillow. Cool. So for a finishing touch, what I'll do is I'll go to the loop cut tool again, add in a loop right in the middle over here, and then go to the scale tool, and then click and drag this uh, circle over here to move it inwards. So if I tab out now, we have something that looks like this. So if I uh, increase the viewport count, we can start to see that our pillow starts to take some more, a smoother and better shape. Okay, so if I go to object, shade is smooth. It looks like a, a normal pillow now. So what, some further things we can do is maybe we can move these, these three back by hitting GG. 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 Okay, so we have uh, our pillow that looks like that. So that's it. Uh, some further things you can do is you can maybe sharpen out the corners a little better. So let's go to the x-ray tool and let's go to the uh, selection tool. 
select all, all this one, shift, select all of this one, and all of this one, and all of this one. S uh, hit S to scale, but that will, if you hit S, it will scale down along this middle point over here as the this main center point. So we want to sc scale this one individually. So the way to do that is ch by changing this one from uh, median point to individual origins. So now if I go to scale and then scale this down, it will scale down individually on its own axis. And now if I go back and change to uh, median point, it will go back to the way it was before, but now we can scale it up just to expand it out a little a little out further. Okay, so let's turn off X-ray, and we have the corners being a little bit more sharper now. So the pillow is now modeled. So the final thing left to do is give it a little shader. So let's go to the material panel, and we have some uh, basic default material there already, so let's just call it pillow. And I'm just gonna give it like a, a red color. You, you can make, you can give it whatever color you like. Let's now change this to the preview mode. Uh, it's a little bit too shiny, so let's turn up the roughness and turn down the specularity. Okay, but it doesn't really look. Uh, we we can enhance the realistic look of the pillow even more. So for this one, we need to go back to the shading workspace and we need to add in another little node. So. To do this, we'll just have to go to Add, Color, Mix RGB, and we'll copy this color by hovering the mouse over this base color, hitting Control C, and then hovering over here, Control V, and Control V here as well. And we'll make this one a lighter red, somewhere over here. And we'll connect this color to this base color. It does pretty much the same thing, except it mixes this color with this color, and you get this result over here. But I want to control this one to use some kind of a Fresnel effect. Fresnels tend to give a much more realistic cloth kind of a shade. So the way to do that is by going to add input layer weight and uh, connect this Fresnel to this uh, fact value over here. And it just will help to make it look more realistic uh, or maybe facing. Sorry, it should be more facing, not fact. What that means is when the camera is facing us directly, we see a red, but when it's sort of perpendicular away from the camera view, it becomes a light sort of pinkish color. The cloth is looking directly at you, you see the full diffuse color, but when it's sort of perpendicular to you, you see this sort of light colored shade, as if there's dust laying on it. So it helps to improve the shader look of it a little bit. So that's the reason why I did that there. Then we'll make it a bit more wider, and that should be fine. Okay, so that's how you create very basic low poly looking pillows using Blender. All right, so that's how you create some basic low poly looking pillows using Blender. In the next tutorial, we will create the coffee table for our living room scene. So go ahead and click on that tutorial right now.